Hello everybody, put your headphones on and turn the lights off because we are back playing Amnesia, Justine. When we left off, we were in this room and I didn't even turn on this phonograph yet because I didn't because I didn't think of doing it. But we read that letter over there, I tried turning this wheel, it did absolutely nothing. And here we go. Congratulations for coming this far. I'm so excited for you. I do hope you managed to save Monsieur Fournier. Wait, was I supposed to save him? And a colleague of my papa here. You know what? I'm not gonna I'm not gonna matter about it. This is This is my do whatever run. He puts up an impressive front, but it is all an act, I assure you. Please go on. We are just getting started. Alright, well uh Yeah, I'm just I'm just gonna I'm just gonna say that I saved him. I don't know if I saved him or not, but I'm just gonna say that I did because I didn't kill him. I couldn't get into that room, but I didn't really want to either. Okay, so go into the library. The basement had been extended well beyond the manor during the time of the first revolution. Justine was not to enter without permission, but now there was no one left to ask. <laughs> All right, another phonograph. Phonograph. There's like a million of these things. You should be looking for some divine inspiration. Time to delve into your spiritual side. What do you see? Is the man begging for mercy, or is he being blessed? Perhaps both. Father used to say there were no right answers. Have the light guide you. Alrighty then, creator lady. I will do as you say. Alright, tender boxes. Tin boxes. Anything up there? No. Anything up there? Ooh, what's this? Slide two. Awesome. I don't have any oil for my lantern yet, do I? No, I don't. Why are you gonna give me a lantern if you don't give me oil? What's the point of that? Maybe you have to search a little bit harder for the oil. What's this? Slide one. Awesome. Note. The tests have been going well. The most long term and in a sense the most promising one is the light box. Having Justine choose a slide, essentially a mood for every day, is a great way to see a larger overall development of her mind. She definitely reads things into the slides I had not foreseen. Her remarkable imagination turns the characters into just about anything she is able to effortlessly reduce all of her experiences into one of the four character slides. Using the puzzle lock has proven more difficult as she tends to always choose two slides with characters facing the same way. I have asked her why that is, but she doesn't seem to fully understand what I'm asking. Hmm. I don't know, but there's a tinderbox. Alright, so Justine is obviously a mental patient sort of guy. Guy? Girl? She's a girl, right? Justine is a girl's name. At least I think it is. There's a garbage truck outside and it's really loud. <laughs> uh, Harriet's letter, 12th January 1839. Dear Monsieur Flamier, I am sorry to hear about your daughter Justine's unruly behavior. Rest assured that this does not diminish your work, nor does it make your idea of the natural development mind less appropriate as a field of study. I have met a plenty of scholars here in London enthralled by your hypothesis and stated that it could not be one of the most ideas of the modern era. It has been suggested that the mind is not only molded by experience, but could also be stricken with disease without psychological sign. Perhaps this is just a line of thinking could be applied to your child. I wish I could devote your letter to con solidation however I write you with this with a request I require passage into Algeria and I need Frenchmen of great standing to vouch for my person I am certain the name of Florabel will greatly speed the process in granting the permits I require it pains me to ask this of you in your time of distress but it could but if you could suffer my inconvenience I would be greatly in your debt sincerely Herbert all right well Herbert you're your guy I don't feel like being nice to you all right. God, is that freaking? Who, who are you? Who's there? <gasps> I'm here. You'll burn for this. You'll burn for this. Why will I burn for this? Who's this lever? Wait. Wait. The last time I pulled a lever. The last time I pulled the lever, the guy almost died. Twisted child. I don't think I want to pull the lever this time. There's two slots here, though. I gotta find what goes in those slots. Um, 
Slide four, awesome. Next room. It's in here. Do, 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 do. Any secrets? Ooh, slide. Slide three? Okay. Any secrets? Any secrets? No secrets. Standard box. Alright, well, next. Ah, I don't have lantern oil. Wait, I went backwards. I went backwards, my bad. Alright, so. That room is the guy I have to save. Alright, and. Oh, it's a projector. And I have slides. Oh, awesome. Alright, there's the guy. Being all like, I'm gonna be that statue that's in Brazil of Jesus. Awesome. Slide two. There's a guy, he's all like, I'm gonna stab you in the face if you get near me. And then slide three. Guys are like, no, please don't hurt me. I'm gonna die in like two seconds if you hurt me. Awesome. And then there's slide four. They're all like, yeah, I'm amazed. Look at that. I'm so awesome you can't even touch me. Hmm, that doesn't that doesn't mean <laughs> these things don't mean anything for me. <laughs> but uh okay. Any secrets? Any secrets? Any secrets? Secrets. There I was told that there's a lot of secrets in this game. Okay. Alright, you need a stack. I hope he can't break things down. Well, all right. So there's a guy in here, and he's got two slots. Can I put up? Nope. Soul journal entry. Justine, age eight. Today I played outside with Clarence. We saw a bird picked at a snail. It carried it off and landed on the lawn and landed on the lawn somewhere. The, the snail had a shell and it cracked. Clarice cried and one, and I confronted her. The new maid heard us and came out and scolded Clarice for playing with me. The bird took off in the air. Today, I was one with open arms. Justine, age nine. Oh, it's like a... Oh, okay. Today, I played with the slides from Father's light box. Above all... Oh, the light box is a projector. Okay. I like the man standing to the right. Father asked why. I, I said he, he sees things he likes he sees things okay today I was the right one father said I picked the wrong slide yesterday when I made the chambermaid cry he wanted to pick me wanted me to pick the one with the sword while I picked the man on the right I never picked the one with the sword today I was the one kneeling T today father came t for me in my room I still couldn't look for it oh today I was the one okay so um that's the uh that's the days that uh that uh she was uh she was the the slides because she would tell her emotions with the slides. Okay, today father came for me in my room. I couldn't look at him in the eyes. I, he said I shouldn't feel ashamed that I only tried to fill the void by left by my mother when he wasn't looking. I, I took a star stone from his collection. Today I was the one with the story. So he was like a crusader and. uh can I put like a book in there or something? Can I get a book? Bottle? Can I put a bottle in there? Can I put the slides in there? <laughs> oh! Oh, I can! Um. Um. Oh! Oh, I get it! I get it now! This is the, uh. This is the, uh, the, the puzzle box! that she was talking about that she she would always pick two of them and it would it would okay okay she would always pick two of them okay what one what two would she pick um what was the note um slide one let's go through them one by one so there's that guy um what's the note notes soul journal today I was the one with open arms Today I was the right one. Today I was the one kneeling. Today I was the one with the sword. Hmm. That doesn't make any sense, though. The one with the sword. Slide three. 
the one kneeling and the one the right one well crap how do I do this You shut up. If you're going to do something, do it. Actually, no, don't do it. Stay in there, please. But, uh... Hmm. Wait. Wait a second, um... What did, uh, she say when, um... When, uh... When, um... She was, uh... She was on the phonograph. She said, she said something at the end, it was like, is this one begging for mercy, or is he being blessed? Is the man begging for mercy, or is he being blessed? So it's gotta be, so it's gotta be four and one, right? No, not, not four and one, three and one. Because four, that guy's that guy. He's all like, screw you guys, I'm amazing. So yeah, let's go do, um... Three and one. Right, yeah. Alright, three and one. Got it. We're so amazing. <laughs> Alright. So, I have your cure, guys. I'm gonna put one in first, just in case. Just in case it's, uh... Alright. So, if I pull this lever... Boop. What? That wasn't the right one? Well, crap! Okay. Alright. I didn't kill him. I get a second chance. I get a second chance to figure this out. Um. So it's definitely three. That guy's begging for mercy. What about... What's four? It can't be four. But it can't be two either. Well, crap. You know what? Let's try four. This is all in. This is all in. This is all the money. Let's put it in numerical order just because, you know, OCD. Um, so three. And four. <laughs> Did I do it? Sick, twisted child. Well, what the heck am I supposed to do? What do I do then? Two? It can't be two. Well, this guy's begging for mercy. Hmm. I've never been so perplexed by a puzzle before. Well, I shouldn't say that because <laughs> I totally have been. Um. So yeah, three. Maybe three was supposed to go first. Okay. I guess we'll tr we'll try three first, and we'll do three one. Three. You know, I don't think I don't think it really matters so long as I have things in there. 
Okay. Ugh. Oh god, I'm sorry! I didn't mean to do it! And I just took out the slime. I didn't know what to do! What was I supposed to do? I don't know what I was supposed to do! What the frick? Are you gonna come out now? Well, what the freak was I supposed to do? That doesn't make any sense. Something behind this bookcase? Okay. <laughs> I love how I just went straight to it. Boop. I wonder, is Father David with his God now? Maybe you helped him there. Don't you worry. I didn't I do it on purpose. I wanted to save him. I didn't know how though. All that well liked. With the current Maybe I needed to put a book in there. <laughs> killed him already. We can't all be saved. Some don't even want to be saved. Yes, that is a comforting thought. Saves us some try. Well, I wanted to save him. I didn't know how, though. Alright, so now we're in a basement again. Yep, that's nice. I just killed a man. I'm not getting scared right now. Alright, well. I'm gonna hide in this corner right here. Because I don't feel like... What was that music? Why was there music? Anyway. Thanks for watching, everybody. Remember, everything you know is a lie. And I will see you next time.